Okay. Um, in the interest of the second time being the charm, or in the case of video, this is the third time. Um, here we go again. My uh, video recorder during the setup of the experiment and so on ran out of both memory and power. So here's what's going on. Uh, we more precisely copied Robert Murray Smith's experiment in that we used um, a 0.5, to be clear, 0 0.5 or one half molar solution of um, sodium sulfate and ran it at 2 volts using the upper power supply for a period of two minutes, followed it by the 10 volt power supply at the bottom, and that has been running now for approximately five minutes. Um, no gasification or other effects were seen during the two volt process, which is what we expected, and the um, during the 10 volt cycle we're seeing the, um, the exfoliation happen as we expect. The, um, the solution even looks more like what Robert Murray Smith was using in, in his, being that it is a clear liquid as opposed to the cloudy murky bit. But, uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be progressing much better. The particle size in the raft at the top are more universal, uh, or you know, more um, more alike. There's le less difference between particles, um, which is exactly what we'd expect. In that it did not, um, it doesn't, it's not attempting to blow apart the graphite, but rather exfoliate it. Um, the amount of current during the 2 volt loading process what it started off at approximately um, 10 milliamps dropped to 2 and uh, now at the 10 volt process we're pulling about uh, two and a quarter amps and uh, that was approximately what, what we expected to see so far, no surprises. Um, the process is going at a much more sedate pace, which is, again, what we'd expect. And um, so far, I'm somewhat happier with what I'm seeing. The previous sample showed um, particles of graphite. Uh, where literally the piece of graphite was blown up, blown clear of the electrode itself before it had a chance to um, intercalate and uh, exfoliate. So while the experiment itself was a success, the resulting material was not usable. In fact, there's one particular piece that is probably a centimeter square by about uh, 25 to 30 mils in thickness of graphite um, and that quite literally got torn apart and, and blown clear before it had a chance to exfoliate. This seems to be producing a, a much much better result. As time goes on, um, I'm probably going to start decanting the uh, the raft of graph, uh, graphene nanopar nanoplatelets. In fact, I'll go ahead and take move the camera to see. There is the raft. And it's very interesting how much um, gasification we're seeing off of the uh, the electrode. The, the cathode. The other interesting thing is that I tried 
a little bit of a different tack on it. I made a slight modification to the instructions that Robert Murray Smith uh, shared in that uh, I used the water at approximately 85 C um, which made it easier to um, mix the, the sodium sulfate and it also probably has a little bit better of a penetration into, into the graphite. Yeah, so far what what I'm seeing as far as the particle size is concerned it, it's very homogeneous and I'm not seeing a whole lot of silver in here silver being indicative of graphite And it is the sound of my meter getting ready to turn off. At this point in time, uh, in the previous video, fully half of the uh, graphite had been um, eroded away. And I would say at this point in time we're less than 25% in. Still pulling about two and a quarter amps. The raft is covering approximately 70%, and my meter has just turned off.
with the um, solution being somewhat more clear uh, we can see some precipitate on the bottom of the of the jar um, given the fact that um, graphene and, and such is lighter than water we can we must assume therefore that what we're seeing is something other All right, at this point in time, the experiment has run as long as the previous 10 volt cycle had. And as of right now, I really don't have to even clear the raft. Oh, I just noticed. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to terminate the experiment. Apparently Pyrex is not for lab or stovetop use. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? One of these days I'll probably break down and buy proper lab glassware, but in the meantime... Pyrex seems to be doing just fine. Well, while this is continuing, um, and it's currently noon, and I will pause the video, and we'll come back to it in about 30 minutes.